There is a role for quantum mechanics, literally quantum mechanics, not just metaphorically, in accounting for the richness of the world that we see around us in the, in the following sense. What if classical mechanics were true, right? What if there was no wave function, everything was perfectly deterministic, uh, you, you could be Laplace's demon. So you could know the complete state of the world today, and that would predict the state of the world in the future and the past. If that's true, then all the richness around us, including you know you and me, Robinson, having this discussion, was inherent in the initial condition of the universe, right? But no, I just take us today. Your role before uh, uh, it depends how you define the word inherent. You can also read. Yes, it, it does. But just I, I have a definition. Possibility, <laughs> blah blah, not fully deterministic. You know. So well, what I'm imagining is if, if classical mechanics had been true, then you could take our universe now, you could use the laws of physics to evolve it to the early time, and it would look smooth and you know featureless, but only because there were very, very, very subtle correlations there that you could then evolve backward, you know, evolve back forward to the present day. Like we were implicit, let's put it that way, in the initial conditions of the universe. But when you have quantum mechanics, now that's not true anymore. The early universe can be truly simple and featureless. And what happens is, as these branches happen and decoherence happens, then individual parts of the universe can begin to look complex. And you can't predict exactly where you're going to be, because like we said, there's many different futures and you're going to be all in all of them. And there's different versions of you that will be in all of them. But this sort of the the action of quantum mechanics is to start from a simple, beautiful, pristine state and create many, many, many very complicated, very interesting worlds. Now I will try to strike back with a precise metaphysical question. You said at the beginning in a much more complex way, but some basic, simpli- whatever you call it, simplicity. But wouldn't it, if we were to be able, I'm returning to your idea of this ideal observer, which would have seen the entire picture, all the possibilities, wouldn't that also involve some kind of return to simplicity? I'm not saying that it is a simplistic image. It's very complex. I know all the options and so on. But in a way, it would have been a flat world, like everything is... Well, I think this is good. This is a very good point. But I think it's the difference between hardware and software, right? A An observer like Laplace's demon who could know everything and do all the calculations is a very simple concept, not that complicated. But the data, the software that that person would need to actually do the calculation corresponding to our universe would be incredibly complicated. Whereas in quantum mechanics, Stephen Hawking and Jim Hartle wrote it down, the wave function of the universe, and all of the complexity can just come about universe by universe, world by world afterward. No, no. uh, I see. I see. Yes. Oh, my God. There are so many. Okay. Sorry. I'm slowly getting tired, but there are there are uh, uh, so many points here. I, I now I see where I where I will have to rethink my position. I will. Can you th- this precise idea that you mentioned? Now you can uh, you can even uh, you the middleman exclude this or what? But I would love to have a. Do you have a text where you develop that precise point? Many worlds ideal observer, everything objective, we just don't know where we are. Is there a text by you? Not yet, but I'm happy to write something down. Like I said, I've just been thinking about it you know, in the I last few weeks. It's lovely. So. I like this idea that uh, uh, this is my dream, that I write texts so that somebody will quote them. <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> directly. No, it's very, very possible that someone else has totally written it down already. It's a big problem for me. Yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, it might be completely unoriginal. That's very possible. So I, I will look to see if anyone else has already written it. And if not, I will but write you know something what's down. What's the trick that people use different terms? These nightmares happen to me. They do. I no, know. Yeah. You don't find it, but another guy with just different terms. Yeah, I know. The same thing. <laughs> you know. We're all just remixing. 